Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Let's just continue right where we left off. I think we're right about to get out of this canyon thing. We're nearly through. Good. That was a harder hike than I thought. Wait! What is that? Sigh. Why do the big ones always show up at the very end? Well, better get ready. Let's do it. It's a big turtle. What is this thing called? Land turtle? Just fighting a turtle? Um, let's see. Special attack or um hit count. Let's do the air splitter. We'll do the special piercing bolt. We'll do the special moonbeam. And we'll do a piercing bolt. Let's just use all of our specials. Why not? No point in not pretty sure this is probably this isn't like a final boss it's probably like a pseudo boss or something but you know does that show. reflect special I don't think it should okay it doesn't I'm like oh we poisoned it nice you, you absolutely love to see it okay well we're not gonna hit it with magic stuff because it's gonna reflect it back at us okay a hundred literally did nothing Goodbye. Damn, another piercing bolt. Another thousand. Okay, and it's going to get poisoned, which is super, super cool. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and attack it. I don't want to use any magic right now. I'm just going to use Hidden Dragon. Hidden Dragon, Hidden Dragon, and then Default again. Oh, this thing defaulted. That's a little annoying, because I'm not going to hurt it. That's a little annoying. That's alright, though. Not the biggest deal. Still does 300, even when it's defaulted, though. But now we're going to have to wait four turns just to attack it again. Oh, at least it still gets poisoned, too. This is default, default. Oh. It's not even that strong, actually. Default again. Okay, let's just use, um... Uh, hmm. I don't know. Does that reflect it? That gets a fire to me, right? Yeah, okay. So I'll have to be careful of that. Is this still reflected? Poison. Reflect. Okay, so I do have to hit it with physical things. Let's hit it with stomp then. Stomp. Stomp. Let's just attack it with our hands, I guess. And then hidden dragon, hidden dragon. And if it defaults again, I'm, I don't know what to say. It defaulted. Of course it did. That's so annoying. Ah, oh, come on, man. Why got it? Why? Why is he default constantly? It's gonna take forever to kill this thing just on the note of its HP and defense. Although the poison's doing a lot of work, so I'm very thankful for that. Just oh, this is default, default, call it a day. Oh, it doesn't even do that much. It does a lot to one guy though. Okay. Default ability. We can, we can use a Kira on Tiz. He defaulted. Another poison, another day. Let's use two defaults for now. Okay, that's cool. I guess we'll wait for a default and then attack with Tiz and Agnes. Okay, so he just did this. Ouch. So next turn he should default. If that's how the pattern goes, that's what he usually does. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and default, 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 brave, and we're gonna use two Kiras on everyone. Like that. Get run back up to HP. Okay, damage dispersion. I think it's gonna default, so let me let me default one more time. Okay, yes, it defaulted. 
Now we attack. So, no, 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 no. Now we want to actually attack it. And if it defaults again, then, um, man, I don't know what to tell you. You know what, let's just default. We're not going to do any damage with them anyway. Hit a dragon, hit a dragon, hit a dragon. And then, I guess let's default again. Okay, affliction angle, that's okay. Man, we're still, like, doing no damage with Tiz now. I wonder why that is. Is this attack that low where he does, like, one damage? Like, we're never going to kill this thing if it has constant reflect up and Agne uh, Agnes is the only one doing actual damage. Well, at least the poison's always there. That helps. Let's just do, uh... Oh, this can break through defaults. I forgot. We should just do that then. Because it'll just break through it. Yeah, we don't even have to worry about that. We'll just do that then. Spin attack. That's fine. His physical defense went up anyway. Okay. You can do that too, I guess. Okay, let's do this wave four times. That'll probably be the best way to kill him. Okay, let's get Tiz back up. He just had to target Tiz all that time, huh? Okay. Well, this guy died. Did he... I want him to die soon, because this guy is very annoying to fight. Alright, just don't spin attack Tiz again, please. Literally, don't spin attack Tiz. Proceeds to spin attack Tiz. Okay, let's go ahead and use... Uh, Phoenix down on Tiz, and can use... If you're on, everyone. Yeah, I really wish that Phoenix down would come down first, but... Who like, cool, am I to say? What should be what? Okay, I'm just gonna default and default. Yeah, reflection angle. Default, default, default. Basically, I just need Agnes to get back up, so... Oh. Tiz is not good HP. Oh, no. Don't... Don't do that, either. Okay, items. Let's go ahead and Phoenix down Agnes. Default. There we go. Preferably after Anya's is up. Preferably. But that's okay. Whatever. But the problem now is if we get spin attack, Anya's is dead, like, on sight. Items. Use a. Uh, use a potion on Anya's. Default, and then default. I need, I need the high potion to go off before you attack. Okay. Oh, um, yes, yes, default. Let's use the Hidden Dragon. No, actually, oh yeah, Hidden Dragon will be good, because that's two. What are the chances of it defaulting? Okay, it didn't default, that's what I thought. I'm like, it's not gonna default, because that's two. Okay, that should keep everyone alive, hopefully. Unless it crits for like 1,500 again on Anya's. Okay, I need this thing to die, man. So, yeah, so that's poison here, this is a rough, this is a rough little thing on here. It's gonna take some magic on it. Might as well be useful with Ring a Bell if we have him here. Okay, it literally does nothing. It's default, default, default. Ouch. Okay. Um. Again, risk my party. My party right now is not optimized to fight this type of boss, where I just can't use magic. I just, it's not optimized for it, you know. Luckily, I'm doing a little bit of damage because of the poison, but that's quite, it's quite literally it. It has to. So you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and. Okay, please let Adia go off before it uses the reflect. If it doesn't go off before that reflect, we're screwed. No, dude, we're so screwed. Of course, of course it uses it before me. Of course. No shot that I go first. And now this fear is gonna jump right back at me and kill someone. No shot, dude. No shot. 
just gonna kill my entire party by using fear on myself. Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna use hack and slash at this point. You know what? Um, I'm just gonna use bolt. Okay, abilities. Item, Phoenix Down, Anyas. Item, High Potion, Anyas. Idea, and then Tiz. Alright. It's gonna, okay, it's just gonna kill. It's gonna kill Tiz now. Okay. Now it's gonna kill Idea. Oh, almost killed Ring a Bell. Yeah, this isn't good. Again, everything would have been fine if I would have just got those Furas in before he reflected. He's not gonna cure before the Phoenix Down! What a surprise! For once in our lives, we actually get the Phoenix, then the cure. Okay. Is we use our special? Does that reflect on right now? Poison? Reflect. Okay, then we will not use it then. It's gonna default again. And then we use the. No, we need to hit the test too, so we should be able to. Should be able to. Of course, he. Oh, this game is triggering the crap out of me. He has two. Why would he default? Wow, I've never been this frustrated with a boss before. What? Did, what? Did, why did they just put like a super annoying boss just like randomly at the end of a cave? Literally, this is incredibly frustrating. Okay, well, we should all just default here. It died by poison. It died by poison. Fair enough, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> that was such an annoying boss fight. That was incredible. Okay, let me save with you, guy. I, 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 I can't do that again. Yes, and actually, let me also... What can I? I gotta buy a few Phoenix Downs now, and then I don't. I don't want to buy ethers. Okay. Okay. And then hopefully there's a town or something we can stop in an inn at or something. Unless that wasn't even the final boss, which that would be an interesting revelation. Okay, it was. Oh, and we can go straight to this guy. Cool. You love to see it. My, my. Did you youngsters miss me already? First, allow me to thank you again for your earlier aid. It allowed us to successfully awaken the Crystal of Wind. I... I see. Yes, well, glad to hear I didn't work through the night in vain. Now, what brings you to me this time? We want... clothing. Which is why we need your help, Sage. No, allow me to call you Master. Master the unparalleled glamour of your creations is the surest key to Agnes's victory. Honestly, of all the reasons to bring you out here. Very well. Any one piece from my collection of a thousand dresses strong is yours to take. Oh, Master. Words cannot express the bounds of our thanks. Oh! And you've got a vanity with cosmetics! How convenient. May I? Help yourself. Use anything you like. I feel like you two are starting to spiral out of hand. Remember why we are doing this. Let us defer to them this once. They are more knowledgeable in such things than I. Granted. But still... What do you think? That's an especially popular design among my works. I've never worn anything quite so... extravagant. 
Vito, it's all wrong. Too showy. The outfit drowns her out. The idea is to draw out her natural beauty, not hide it. You're a stern critic, my dear. Master, I fear this outfit lacks conviction. It's lukewarm. Have you anything hotter? You're a brave man, Ringer Bell. Perhaps too brave. But yes, perhaps the time has come to loose the seal upon the forbidden Bravo Bikini. So extreme was it that every girl to try it on instantly and irrevocably hated me without exception. Am... am I dreaming? Oh, this might be a little... ambitious? Illegal? Avert your gaze, Tiz. <laughs> you aren't ready. It's too much temptation. He ain't ready. <laughs> but if you did wear it, your victory would be assured. Such is its terrible power. Then wear it I shall. I am prepared to make any sacrifice to find Olivia. Fair enough. What courage! What noble spirit! Here then, take my greatest masterpiece. All right, let's get to that pageant, boyos. Let's find Olivia. of the strength of your determination, Vestal. Now, to action! Indeed. I did! But that was... This isn't... If I wore this... I... I... I catch my death of cold! I'm sure you'll be fine. Does your talk of sacrifice ring hollow so soon, Agnes? I'll also mention that my journal states, Agnes wore sexy clothes. It was awesome. <laughs> Agnes, he's lying. I saw his book earlier, and it said nothing of the sort. <clears throat> A word of advice? Don't choose the clothes, child. Let the clothes choose you. But, but... All right, you two, that's enough. The poor girl's near her breaking point. But what a victory. Don't you want to win? No. I've said as much from the very beginning. You've no desire to claim the title of most beautiful for your own? Vessel is the only title I require. If you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. It's not as if there's any rule that says entrants have to dress sexy in the first place. There isn't? Then I don't... Uh, this is... unacceptable! You're certain? There's no way to change your mind? Yeah, they're definitely the same person. And no! And you, Tiz? You're a teenaged boy. Have you no blood in your veins? I feel fine. Unacceptable! Here lie my dreams. Broken. Crushed of all they ever lived. Mm, 
Sex appeal is tricky. We haven't much time before the day of the festival. We ought to be returning to Florum. Empty-handed. For all our troubles. I blame myself for underestimating the beast that is sex appeal. I'm not sure there's any cause for blame. And why try to tart you up or present you as someone you're not? I say show them you, as you are. I imagine Olivia is a lot more likely to recognize you that way, too. What if you... I don't know. Why don't you wear the Vestal garb? From the right. Or just wear a sash saying, I'm the Vestal, assassinate me. But who around here knows about the Vestal garb? Us four, the Sage, Olivia, that's it. Plus, I think that dress looks very pretty on you, Agnes. Uh, I mean... Me, as I am, as the Vestal of Wind. Thank you, Tiz. You are precisely right. I shall wear the Vestal garb for the festival. I think that's the right choice. Well, look at you, Tiz. You little charmer. <laughs> oh, to be young and starry-eyed again. The Vestal garb is no less a masterpiece of mine than any other. It ought to serve you well enough. Fair enough. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, then back we go. Do we gotta go back through all of that? Okay, now we gotta go back all the way through. Let me make sure I heal. I already healed. Okay, cool. We're healed then. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do a quick save a here. Okay, and then let's also do an update on the town. Just super, super quickly. Um, okay, this. Earth drum. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Is there anything that just like... Let's just put a few more people in here. Does any of these have any trouble? Or, you know, too, too long? Okay, three hours is a little too long on this one. Let's just put everyone we got. Screw it. Oh, we just have this available now. Okay. Let's put everyone on there, too. Okay. Moving forward. You, woman! Huh? With the vapid look, yes. Oh my! Now whatever is a little girl like you doing out all by herself at this hour? I hear you're thought to be the likely winner of the upcoming Sacred Flower Festival. I am! Aren't I pretty? Now, if you want to grow up to be pretty like me, you need your beauty sleep! <laughs> ha! Idiotic plebe. Now, that's not very... Uh, a slip of the hand? I demand only to mar that lovely face. <laughs> they really are such fragile things. Thanks. Like plucking a flower. And flowers so beg to be plucked. The ease of it all is a terrible bore. Don't you agree, Victor? Just so, Victoria. Just so. Are these two next to die? <laughs> Let us hope these vestals to the crystals are more entertaining. By my data, the likely runner-up ought to be strolling past soon. Shall we say hello, Victoria? Are they just going to kill everyone in the pageant? That's not a smart thing to do. Norendia special moves. Hey, Tiz, can you... Uh, sure. So there's a base special move for each weapon type. Oh, it's... Uh, right, so you can want to try out a bunch of... See how it works. You can shout whatever line. Think of something amazing. 
Okay, yes, it's quite imposing. Okay, hmm, what about this will probably defeat you, maybe? It's not, it's not, where, uh, would it be great if, if this defeats you? Not much of battle cry, is it? Prepare for mild to severe discomfort, maybe. Aha, those are all terrible. I agree, those are absolutely horrendous. Okay, just in case something crazy happens. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save a -roo. All entrance to the Central Plaza, the 47th annual Sacred Flower Festival is set to begin. We're in time. And you've really decided not to go with this sexy swimsuit? Wait, you still have that? I'm quite certain, thank you. I'll wear the vessel garb, as tis suggested. This is your last chance to rethink it. Agnes, I still think the world deserves to see the Bravo. Unacceptable. Has history ever seen so sad a day as this? No, I say, surely not. Oh. <laughs> no one who matters is sad, ring a bell. <sighs> Are you nervous? I know it's scary standing up in front of a crowd this size. But don't be scared. We'll be close by, keeping watch. Thank you. Hearing that does lift a weight from my shoulders. Good. Now relax and go get them. Okay. Ooh, there's a side quest there. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Let's stay at the inn, actually. Wait, it won't let me. Okay, this is so annoying. I think I'll have to use a some eth. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. Let's use some ethers there because I'm scared we're gonna get into a fight and ring a bell will have none. Well, hello. Quite the dashing little dandy, eh, my friend? But pray, mistake me not. I've no interest in children, and still less in men. But yes, this is quite the merry band. Two boys, two girls. Double date, is it? Double date? How charmingly hot-blooded. Ah, youth, look at me. You're making old red blush. Ah, beg your pardon. That was no criticism. I'm proud, envious even. Hard to believe I was that young once. Time's remorseless arrow, eh? Now look at me. Just a sad pile of bones and flab and tarnished dreams. I'd be happy to tear those bones up any night, De Rosa. Stop it. We've got kids watching. Curious. I feel a reflexive, uncontrollable revulsion. So tell me, my little dandy. You're addressing me? I am. Tell me straight. Just how far have you gotten with her? What? Not even held hands? That's worrisome. You're making the red worry. Women are fickle beasts. Another fellow comes a-courting and they're apt to flit off. Take me. If I saw an opening to chat her up, I'd have her in my pocket in minutes. Seconds! What? Excuse me? Are you really gonna flirt while I'm standing right here? If you'll pardon my saying, I doubt Edea fancies shallow old men. <laughs> no need to get heated, lad. True, you have your youth and innocence and baseless confidence. As well you should. Stay just as you are. We'll see if she does the same. 
Just remember, it's not innocence a girl wants. It's a thrill. That and a refined technique. Technique? Ah, oh, but I'm afraid you'll have to study up on that one alone. <laughs> Take care. Uh, oh. Idea, just what manner of technique do you look for in a man? Sorry, I'm pretending I misheard you. Is it clever conversation? A gift for cooking? Swords and sorcery? Kissing? Right. Now I'm pretending I didn't hear you at all. Okay. Creepy old fellow. We just get hit? Okay. Let's do a little savoru here. And then we'll get moving, I guess. But I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.